Hey guys, Bondo here. So we are doing another new Dura frost protected foundation here. And uh, I live in New York state, so we have to keep our footers down four foot unless you do it this way. Um, I got some videos on it. You've probably already seen some, but if you haven't, what we do here is we got a shallow footer and we're gonna protect this footer with foam board. It's gonna come out, there's gonna be perimeter foam all the way around the entire thing so this is a huge footer right here guys um it's got like i think it's over three it should be about 335 feet of footer and there's a garage there's a front porch here you can see there's a 12 foot back porch which is all going to be done out of uh new duro this is basically a stem wall this whole thing you can see how long that wall is that's wall there's 89 feet long and this one's this here is like 57 feet long this back porch and it's 12 by 57 and then the garage is pretty big what we're doing right now is putting stone in the footers some round stone because when we dug this this is the material that came out of this thing it is huge rocks in this material so Basically, the homeowner and me dug it with his uh, Cat 304 there. And we pulled some huge rocks out of here. So this is where we're at. Just showing you real quick. We're going to put rebar in this after we uh, get all the stone in. He's got an old Kubota tractor that he's using. Put the stone in. This stone's just a mixture of uh everything from like inch and a half minus it's all round stone it's screen stone it's not crushed stone it's all screened there's no dirt or nothing in it so we're putting that in the bottom here there's a little offset to the to this wall here where the porch goes and this is the garage over here guys Roy's working on that breaking that stone out we got to strip a little topsoil in here once we get the walls up. But that's the project here, guys. I'll try to get some video footage for you as we progress on this thing. It's going to be a pretty nice project. Um, a lot of It's going to be quite a bit of flat work on here once we get our Nadura walls up. The Nadura walls are only going to be two courses high on all of this. And then we got basically this. This is going to be a concrete slab that's going to be radiant heated for his uh, house. And then back here will be his porch. That'll probably be stamped concrete there. That will not be, uh, that will not be heated. But, and then the garage will be heated, this part here. Just getting Royer working in the garage. That's Rick, the homeowner. He's helping out. Trying to give us a hand, save himself some money. And that's what we're up to. Thanks for watching. Here comes the moon! Hey, Crank! Watch here, buddy. Get your boots on. Get your mud. Watch here. Here comes the mud! We got some air today, guys. That's what I hear. Here comes the mud! guys the footer's all ready to go got all the rebar in there um, that's how we do the rebar guys bend it around the corners it hangs off these spreader boards with wire everything's wired together it's in there ready to rock and roll that's how we do it definitely sounds like mud oh i see mud they went the wrong way but here comes the mud here it comes coming up the hill coming up the hill he missed the cone i got a cone right there for him maybe i don't see him 
Got two dogs today working with us. Hmm. We got Rotor over here. And we got Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Bruce. What's up, kid? Ro. 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 Ignoring me. What's up, buddy? Here comes the mud, boys and girls. Down this way. Yo, yo, yo. No, don't back up. Straight in. Yeah. I doubt any. You can just about smell the mud. Can you smell the mud, Roy? Huh? Can you smell the mud? Smell it. Biscuit can smell it. I think it's a five slump. You can smell that five slump. What, your buddy leaving, Rick? Scared him away with that concrete truck, huh? Rotor, what are you doing, bud? <laughs> hiding under there. Dug himself a little hole. Bro, you're gonna get splattered, buddy. Bro, you can't even see him. He <laughs> went right into the dirt. Rotor! Alright, guys, we're gonna get this conveyor stretched out here. I'm not gonna videotape us doing this whole footer, but you'll get the idea. I'll show you how we do it at the end. We're gonna put some rebar in there. Stab some rebar into it. But this is a conveyor truck. And we're gonna use that to place all this concrete. It's gonna make life a lot nicer today. Stay tuned. That's what we're doing, guys. Rowan's helping, right, buddy? He's all splattered with concrete. Biscuit's using a little two by to flatten it out. Roy's got to come on. Rick's over there with a mag in his hand helping out. So, I'm gonna get this over. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. We got this trimmy boot. I'm placing with the trimmy. So, we emptied out the conveyor with all the hard to reach areas. Now, we got Sean here in the front loader, and he's just gonna shoot it right in here. We can drive all the way around this site, so, shouldn't be an issue. Jump right in here, Roy. Jump right in here with you. Come along. Let me try to video for a second. Show them how it's, show them how it's done, Roy. <coughs> That's a man getting right into his work right there. All right, I got to get back to it. All right, guys, we had to get a balance truck of four and a half yards. That's kind of how we planned it to dump 20 and then get a balance so we got a little gap here and then we got to get around from there over to about here so we got four and a half yards right here this is uh dwight rang this load just getting the shoots on mixing it up and we'll fill it in we've been uh wet setting rebars down through there rowan's usually doing nothing as usual right buddy you're doing nothing so just about done here stay with us all right guys we got the footer in put all our uh, rebar in there we got rebar every two feet going around it um, it's looking good we're ready to get out of here have some cold beers mm -hmm. that's what she looks like Take you a little stroll around her. That's a big footer, guys. This is 300 and I'll figure it out, but it's like 350 foot or something like that. It took 24 and a half yards. That's what we ended up with. 24 and a half yards footer. And this is the garage. It goes around. It's all going to be new Dura frost protected foundation. I'll get some footage as we build this puppy, guys. Thanks for watching.